how is Christmas okay to celebrate? Okay, so I want to talk about this because a lot of people um, are saying, you know, talking about Christmas, whether or not it's okay to celebrate. So I'm going to give you my view, but I want you guys to be respectful of me. You usually are, and I, I, I thank you for that, but also be respectful to each other. It's okay to disagree on some things. All right, because I'm going to tell you right now, I think Christmas is okay to celebrate. Now, let me explain. Let me explain before you jump to a conclusion. But I want you to be able to listen to me. And even if you disagree, even if we have people that say, no, Christmas, I will never celebrate Christmas. It's pagan. I, I respect that. I won't try to talk you into it. There's nothing in the Bible that says you have to celebrate Christmas. Okay, but this is the reason why I think it's okay to celebrate Christmas. Um, well, first of all, let me let me talk a little bit about why some people think it's not okay. All right, and that'll kind of set the stage for why I think it is okay. Many people, they say that Christmas has a pagan origin. In other words, it has pagan roots. They say that Jesus was not uh, born on December 25th. And you know what? They're right. They're right about both things. Jesus was not born on December 25th, to my knowledge. Um, I believe he was born at another time of year. And P Christmas does have some pagan roots. And so I wouldn't argue with those things. But this is where I think the mistake is made. Just because something has pagan roots does not make it evil today. That's the big mistake that a lot of people make. They call that the origins fallacy. The Bible actually discusses that. You see, in the New Testament, you had these people were um, arguing over whether it is okay to eat food that has been offered to idols. And the Christian decision on that was basically, don't ask. In other words, when you have your food, pray for it. And even if somebody somewhere, someplace offered that to idols, that doesn't make that food bad. Okay? Just eat it. Just pray for it. Now, of course, it has to be good food. That doesn't mean we can eat trash and garbage and expect God to bless it. But the idea is just because something has an evil origin, according to the Bible, it does not make it evil. What makes something evil is if it's evil, if it's evil today. Uh, let me give you guys an example. Let's talk about Halloween before we come back to Christmas. Okay, I think we can all agree that Halloween had evil pagan origins. Okay, but I would argue that alone does not make it evil. We have to look at Halloween today. Halloween today, is it wholesome and good or is it still evil? I would argue that it is still evil and that Halloween should be avoided because it has so much negative evil connotations today related to things like uh, spiritualism, the idea that the dead continue to live on after they die. Um, ideas, you know, very centered on death and um, just uh, magic or different different negative things that Halloween is associated with it with today. And yes, there might be some good things like fellowship with family, but overwhelmingly, Halloween is generally associated with evil, sinful things today, and therefore it should be avoided. Now, Christmas, on the other hand, although it has evil origins, that doesn't make it evil. We have to look at what it's associated with today. And I would say that it's associated with good and bad. The good is people are thinking about the life and birth of Jesus. That's good. People are thinking about Christmas hymns, giving glory and honor to God. That's good. People are thinking about fellowshipping and loving their family. That's good. Okay, now, also, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to Christmas, you have some things that I would say are not so good. The emphasis, or I would say the obsession with commercialism. Okay, the, the idea that uh, Santa is, you know, is a real being, you know, that, that's, I, that's not true. I'll just go out and say it, that's not true. So, a lot of the mythology, the commercialism, some of those negative aspects of Christmas, I believe we can simply avoid those things. Not to say it's bad to get gifts. I, I don't want to go to extreme or have some nice decor and decorations. 
But I believe we can avoid the negative things. We can embrace the good things about Christmas. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's my position. If you agree, I still love you. I still respect you. And I won't try to talk you into uh, keeping or celebrating Christmas. Okay, but I would ask that you be respectful. And hopefully now you have a better understanding about why some people, uh, like myself, have a clean conscience and still celebrate Christmas. All right, very good question. If this video has been helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out the next video for more clear Bible answers. And please consider becoming a Patreon for daily devotionals. May God lead and bless you on your journey.